the cost of a Galapagos Islands vacation varies depending on the number of days you want to travel around the island. Depends also on the tour you choose, could be a cruise or a land-based tour, and also the level of comfort you want to, to experience in the Galapagos. If you're traveling on a cruise, then most of the operators charge a penalty fee if you don't book the flights directly through them. This is mainly because of operational procedures and we always suggest booking the flights directly through the operator. Uh, regarding the land-based tours are more flexible and you can absolutely uh, book your own flights. We can also advise you in which are the best time to book your Galapagos flight, which generally is in the morning, and we can adjust it to your itinerary as well. So if you're traveling to the Galapagos, bear in mind that your airline only allows one check bag of 23 kilos and one carry-on of maximum 10 kilos. Uh, with this being said, now, you have to consider that the Galapagos Islands has, in general, a very good climate, it's, it's warm, so you mainly have to pack light um, clothes and don't forget your camera to take the, the most precious moment of your trip and also bear in mind that the sun in Ecuador is very strong, so don't forget your sunblock, flip-flops, um, sport shoes or trekking shoes for the island explorations, um, swimsuit and good thing about the cruises is that almost all the cruises uh, rent snorkeling gear and wetsuits so you don't have to bring that you can rent that uh, on board and yeah that's pretty much the most important things you have to pack for your Galapagos trip and also cash so here in Ecuador we don't pay many things with credit card, also some cruises don't allow credit card because you're going to be navigating through many, um, many islands and you're not going to have a proper signal, so yeah, cash is very important for your trip as well. So if you're looking to travel to the most remote islands in the Galapagos, I would highly suggest to travel on a cruise. On a cruise you're gonna reach the most remote islands that on a land base is not gonna be possible. And if you want to do an island hopping, which is a land based tour, then there are two ways to travel around uh, the main inhabited islands, which are speedboats and uh, flights inter-island flights.